Scallywags, tech tip 25, using hot glue gun to make templates or patterns. Something we do all the time in our industry is building foundations for equipment, furnaces, refrigeration compressors, or making a foundation for a bilge pump, little covers for, you know, covering up electrical panels, you name it, we have to, to make things. And boats are such irregular shapes. What do you do? Well, you want to be fast and efficient. That's what we're training you to do. So first thing I did is door skin is perfect. It's cheap, it's thin, but it's rigid enough to work. So I take on the table saw and I rip some inch and a half, two inch wide strips of door skin. We keep it on hand at Marine Tech all the time. And then pack up a bag with this stuff and a pencil and my Sharpie, hot glue gun, go down to the boat, and figure out, in this case, I'm making a little cover for the end of the <clears throat> this thing, but we heat up our hot glue gun. And then you simply are going to take and get approximate lengths, but a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter is always the key, and then we'll fill in the corners later. So <clears throat> I measure with you know a tape measure sometimes. If it's short, I'll just use my hand. It's just approximate. And then you can break the door skin. You can cut it with a with a set of dikes, score it with a razor knife, breaks really easy. This is fast. On longer ones, I'm gonna use my tape measure. Get, you know, if it's 13 inches, I'm gonna cut this at 12, 12 and a quarter. <clears throat> and then you simply start building each side. So you, I, on this one, I start at the bottom, put a piece in, bit of hot glue, stick them together. Hot glue, stick it together. It dries very quickly as it cools off and then you just pull this out and boom, I come back to the shop, I get my piece of plywood, laid it down on there and cut it out. I, wherever the corners that don't meet because of the template here, just make those lines straight. And then we've got the template. On this one, I did have one spot here in the side um, because the hole was curved where I could see that I I needed about an eighth inch, so I marked it with my Sharpie marker, plus an eighth of an inch, and cut this out, straight edges on the table saw, jigsaw, I took the big band saw and, and made this curve, and just like that, in just a few minutes, I've got this custom piece of plywood cover, and look at that, down on the boat, it fits perfectly. So, very small time commitment, done right, done professionally, that's what our technicians at Skagit Valley College need to do. So thanks for watching.